Thank you very much. You have no idea how much what just happened means to me. Thank you. I've always said that um, it's your hard work, it's every one of your work over the years that uh, has gotten us to this point, and I recognize that. And I will work as hard as I can to represent everybody in this room. Look, for those, for those that I... For those that weren't supportive, I just want to reiterate a couple of things. I, I tell the truth. I am not a liar. And I make plenty of mistakes, but what I say here at this convention is what I say everywhere, wherever I go, and I believe it is a really libertarian message wherever I go. And right now, leaving this convention, uh, I think that millions of people are going to be trying to understand what it is to be a libertarian, and it is going to be my voice describing that to the best of my ability. And I realize, I realize the confidence that you've put in me to be that spokesperson, and I'm very, very grateful of that. Now that said, we're going to move on to the Vice President. And I understand that you get to choose the Vice President. But I just want you to know, um, if it's not Bill Weld, uh, I don't think we have the opportunity of being elected President of the United States. And that is not to take anything away from any of the candidates up here on stage. Jim Gray in 2012 did not make one national media appearance and don't think we didn't try to have Jim Gray be on the national media. Since Bill Weld announced that he is seeking the vice presidential nomination, I would say at a minimum he's made 25 national media appearances. And going and not to take anything away from any of the candidates, nothing away from any of the candidates. But Bill Weld was my role model. Bill Weld was libertarian, Republican. Bill Weld was denied the nomination by Jesse Helms to be ambassador to Mexico because Jesse described him as pro-gay, pro-choice, and pro-medical marijuana at a time when nobody else was talking about this. It's, it's your choice. Uh, we can go out there and we can make, and you've, you've kind of sort of made a choice here already, and that is, is that we do have the opportunity to reach millions and millions of Americans. Talk about fundraising. The total amount of fundraising, the total amount of funds since I've been in politics, directly or indirectly, that I have raised is probably about $8 million. If you, if you make that comparison with Bill Weld, uh, the number is closer to a quarter of a billion dollars. It's, it's a reality. It is a reality, and I'm asking you all to recognize that reality, and I'm also asking you to recognize that you did nominate me for president. Um, and I'm hopefully going to get elected president of the United States. The first... The first consideration that people are going to look at when they look at a vice president, the first consideration, maybe the only consideration is, can that person actually step in and be vice president of the United States? I'm just going to ask you to make that determination with those that are on stage. I, I trust in all of you um, that moving forward that you can see 
I hope you can see the wisdom of this libertarian party exploding uh, and at a minimum, or let's just not say, at a minimum, I think we're in the presidential debates. If it's, if it's, if it's not, if it's not Bill Weld, I don't think that that happens. If it is Bill, Bill Weld, not to take anything away from anybody else that is on the stage, but if it is Bill Weld, there's a real possibility that we can achieve major party status in this country. And who would have dreamed that that was possible four years ago? I have never been involved in this ever without the notion of potentially winning. In 2012, people would ask, well, gee, how come it is that you never really caught on? Actually, I caught on big. This whole thing has been just like this from day one. But when they don't poll you, when they don't recognize that you go from zero to a million, 300,000 votes, it's hard to make that pitch. Well, right now, at 10% of the vote, that's like 18 million people being represented right now. Just understand the opportunity, please. I'm, I'm laying it in your hands, and I know that you're going to make, I know you're going to make the right decision. Um, thank you to all of you. You have no, you have worked so hard. Every single one of you have worked so hard. And so much money has been spent over so many years for ballot access, and here we are. I mean, this is, at some point, didn't, did anybody get involved with the Libertarian Party hoping that this might someday happen? Was it going to be perfect? No, it wasn't going to be perfect, but it is here and it is now. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.